I'm Dr. Gary Clayman of the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center of Tampa, Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about what are the advantages of removal of all of the thyroid gland for thyroid cancer. Thank you, uh, Dr. Clayman, again for answering these questions for me. So in the previous videos we established, I've got this a, a, a cancer in my thyroid lobe. I just found out I'm all freaked out about it, and now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. In a previous video, we talked about the advantages and then the disadvantages of removing half of my thyroid for the treatment, for the cure of my thyroid cancer, but there are obviously the, the other treatment is to remove the entire thyroid to cure my thyroid cancer. What are the advantages of removing the entire thyroid? So the first part is, is that removal of all of the thyroid gland. You know, everyone thinks thyroid surgery is easy. It's not easy surgery, and it's dangerous surgery. And so in unskilled hands, removal of all the thyroid gland, at least in my opinion, should not be done by people that don't do this all the time because the risks are too high to you as a patient. So are you, are you making the point that removing the entire thyroid is more risky than removal of half the thyroid? There's no question about it. That removal of all the thyroid gland harbors more than twice the risk. Uh, some things just will not happen to a patient, even with a bad outcome of removal of half of the thyroid gland. Some things are just not at risk. But when you remove the whole thyroid gland, some very, very important critical structures. So, so are it's got to be, I mean, to me, as I've been doing my research, there's two things we have to worry about the parathyroid glands. There's four of those guys, two on the left, two on the right, and then there's the vocal cord nerves, one on each side of the neck. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you mean that if I operate on both sides of my neck, then I'm at risk, double the risk of injuring a vocal cord nerve because you're looking at both vocal cord nerves. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? It's, it's even more than that. So um, the vocal cord nerves, but there's also other nerves that go through the top portion of the thyroid gland, and I'll show it to you here, that when right through this area here at the very top, right. there are some nerves that provide the sensation to the voice box and also tighten the vocal cord. They don't actually make it move, but they tighten the vocal cord. And those two sets of nerves, so there's two sets of nerves on each side, and both of them are at potential risk in thyroid surgery. Now, not particularly by expert thyroid surgeons, but by occasional thyroid surgeons, they're actually at relatively high risk. I guess I'm hearing you say that, which makes common sense to me, if I'm operating only on the left side versus the left side and the right side, then my risks are at least doubled. The at risk least. for nerve injury or parathyroid surgery. If I have my entire thyroid removed, are there advantages? Absolutely. So I want to remove your whole thyroid gland if there's any spread to any lymph nodes in your neck. If there's spread of thyroid cancer to lymph nodes in the neck, I want to remove all your thyroid Because gland. that's the way you're going to cure me. That's the only cure. Yeah, my, yeah my, my assumption was that you're going to cure me at the operation. You're going to cure me with either half or cure me with all or the whole. But you're saying that even if you start the operation, think you're going to remove half, you may have to remove all of it because of lymph nodes. That's right. So some of the lymph nodes I can find in your evaluation before we go to surgery. Like by examining me or? Well, no, examination isn't going to really work. So the examination is a very, very high definition ultrasound. And it really needs to be done by an expert. So we're going to talk about ultrasound and CAT scan in a different video. But here, you're, you're evaluating the lymph nodes, and that's going to help you determine whether you do half a thyroid or a total thyroid. Before the surgery. And then during the surgery, even if you've decided to do half of the thyroid gland, if we find lymph nodes that we can't find because of the limitations of those studies before surgery, and we find them during the surgery, then the surgery needs to evolve to the right thyroid cancer surgery at that time. So. What I'm hearing you say is the final decision about how much thyroid removed 
always happens in the operating room during the operation when all these lymph nodes and other things are examined. Exactly.